Today on the Cardinal Sports Network, your Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Robbinsville Ravens in Varsity Wrestling. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lawrence High School. Today's match features the Robbinsville Ravens and your Lawrence Cardinals. The Robbinsville Ravens are coach, head coach Sean Flynn, assistant coach Brian Dempsey, assistant coach Daniel Hughes. The Lawrence Cardinals are head coach Chris Lynn, assistant coach Mr. Jeff Burton. We'll start at 106 today. At 106 for the Robbinsville Ravens, Anthony Messina. Modern Cardinals, fourth pick. At 113 for the Robinson Ravens, Jack McCunney. For the Modern Cardinals, Patrick Maloney. So after forfeiting the 106 weight class, Lawrence will be sending out Patrick Maloney for the 113 weight class. He'll be going up against Giacomo Batoni from Robbinsville. They're stepping out onto the mat now, they'll put on the colored ankle bands, which correspond to the hands on the referee, so you can tell who is being scored by which hand he uses. There's the start of the match. So far, neither wrestler taking an advantage. Uh, Lawrence is wrestling in the gray wrestling outfits. That'll give you some indication. And there, Batoni shoots in trying to get a takedown. Can't get it. Maloney holds fast. Both wrestlers looking for a way to take advantage here. Yes, yes. Now Maloney goes in, tries for a takedown, can't get it. But Tony returns the favor, and he'll get two points for the takedown. Maloney gets to his knees, brought back down again. Maloney working his way back up onto his knees and brought back down again. Now Maloney back on his knees trying to stand up. Couldn't make it and he's brought back down again. Now Batoni trying to roll him over. Maloney scrambles out of that one. Maloney gets to his knees, tried to get to his feet, but couldn't quite get up. But Tony trying to roll Maloney over. And time will run out before he can. So after the first round, Batoni up by two points over Maloney. Maloney is electing to start on top for the second round. Now at the whistle, Batoni tried to get the escape, but Maloney manages to bring him back down to the mat. Batoni tries to stand up and he will break free. There's an escape for Batoni. Uh, both wrestlers once again looking for the takedown. And Batoni drives in but can't quite get it. They'll reset and try it again. Tony goes in, goes for the leg, no takedown yet. Now there's a takedown, two points for Batoni.
Looks like uh, Petoni's going to be awarded three points for a near pin, but they're too close to the edge of the mat, so they'll return to center. Now Maloney needs to get an escape. So far he's unable to do so. Now Maloney gets to his knees, looking to get to his feet, can't quite do it. Tony looking to roll him over. Couldn't quite do that either. Right. Tony looking to roll Maloney over. Maloney works free of that, but still unable to get the escape. Now Maloney grabs a leg. And once again, the clock will tick down to zero. But Maloney is in points trouble right now. Going into the final round, he's trailing by eight points. And he'll be starting on top. Maloney needs the pin here to get out of this one. Now, Batoni gets to his feet, breaks free, and he'll get a point for the escape. Neither wrestler gaining an advantage yet. Now working across the mat, but still both of them on their feet. And the wrestlers will step out of bounds and move things back to the center of the mat. And a point is awarded to Maloney on that one. Both wrestlers staying on their feet for a long time in this third and final bout. 30 seconds. will step out of bounds and once again have to restart at the center of the mat. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now the wrestlers will return to action and in goes the Tony looking for a takedown. Maloney able to hold him off and the clock will expire with Patrick Maloney down by 11 points. So Batoni will get the win on that one. Next up will be the 120 pound weight class. I don't believe Lawrence has anyone to answer the call on that one. So that will give the forfeit to David Canner. Next up will be the 126 pound weight class. Once again, Lawrence doesn't have anyone for that weight group. So Shailene Shavor will be getting the win for Robbinsville. Same thing in the 132 pound weight class. Lawrence once again comes up short with the wrestler and that will hand the forfeit to Drake Torrington for Robbinsville. At 138 pounds, Lawrence once again has no one. So Dylan Cifredelli will take the win by forfeit. 
Now in the 145 pound weight class, we're finally going to see some wrestlers on the mat. Wrestling for Lawrence will be Omar Patel, and he'll be going up against Cole Cifredelli from the Ravens. Cifredelli's on the mat. We're just waiting on Patel. Cifredelli wearing the black outfit, Patel in gray. One forty five pound weight class. Got to go ahead from the scorer's table and we'll get things started. And Cifredelli goes in for a leg. He'll get two points for the takedown. Cifredelli holding the head down. Patel. Now Patel up on his knees looking for the escape. Can't get it and he's back down on the mat. Keep moving. Let's go. Uh, working back up to his knees and brought back down again. Cifredelli working to try and roll Patel over, not having much luck with it. Now Patel back on his knees. Now Cifredelli rolls Patel over, looking to try and get him into a pin position. Referee checking it out. And there's the pin. So Cole Cifredelli will win by a pin over Omar Patel. Next up would be the 152 pound weight class. Lawrence will be sending out Omar Rady to wrestle against Lakshay Kahana from the Robbinsville Ravens. Rady's on the mat, waiting for Kahana. Here comes Kahana. He'll put on the ankle marker and we'll get down to wrestling. There's the whistle for the start of wrestling. So far, neither wrestler showing an advantage. Kahana seems to be pushing Rady around now. He'll bring Rady down for the takedown. Two points. Kahana bringing Rady back onto the mat. He'll be looking for a pin. Brady struggling to break free. Yeah, referee unhappy with one of the holds. So at this point, score five to one with Tahana leading over Rady. They'll bring it back to the center of the mat and set up, try it again. Tahana on top. Rady stands up, trying to break the hold for the escape. And there it is, there's the escape. Now 
Nakahana with another takedown. So will bring Rady down to the mat and go to work trying to get that pin. Rady breaks loose enough to roll over and prevent the pin. Now, Rady trying to stand up and get another escape. And he manages to bring Kahana down, but Kahana breaks free. And there's the buzzer for the end of the first period as Lakshe Kahana is leading over Omar Rady with a score of nine to two. Brady has chosen to start on top for a second round. There's a start. Brady moving around trying to get Kahana in a position where he can go for a pin. Got him by the ankle. Kahana up to his knees, looking to stand up. Kahana on his feet, and there's the escape. Now Rady goes for the takedown and ends up on the bottom instead. Kahana takes advantage of it and gets the pin. So Lakshay Kahana will win by a pin over Omar Rady. That will bring us to the 160 pound weight class where Jake Delardo will be wrestling for Lawrence and Richard Esterly will be wrestling for Robbinsville. We're going to move things over to the red mat in order to keep things sanitary. We're dividing up the match between multiple mats. Try and keep everyone healthy. 160 pound weight class, Jake Delardo versus Richard Esterly. Uh, the wrestlers will begin. Esterly goes in looking for a takedown, but Delaro is going to take advantage of that and bring him down instead. Now Delarda in control. Esterly breaks free for the escape. Esterly tries again to go in for a takedown. Once again, he's grabbed by Delarda. Larder gets the takedown. Now Delarda rolling Esterly over looking for the pin. Esterly hanging tough on the bottom. Esterly struggling to his knees. Can't stay there as Delarda brings him right back down to the mat. Now Esterly is his knees and brought down again by Delarda. Now Delarda gets him over looking for the pin and there's the pin. So Jake Delarda gets a pin for Lawrence against Richard Esterly. At 170 for the Ravens, R.J. Coming up next in the 170 pound weight class will be Owen Drake wrestling for Lawrence. He'll be going up against RJ Stradling for the Robbinsville Ravens. Stradling's on the mat, 
I'm waiting for Drake. Here comes Drake now. Just finished checking in at the scorer's table. One seventy pound weight class. Owen Drake versus RJ Stradling. Stradling goes in and grabs a leg. Still no takedown. Both wrestlers locked together. The referee will stop and separate them. I'll try it again. Stradling goes in looking for the takedown. Drake rolls him over. Now Stradling rolls him back. Both wrestlers still locked together, neither one being awarded any points for a takedown. Stradling would have control, but Drake has got, got his arm. Now that's broken free and two points will be awarded to straddling for the takedown. Drake manages to get to his knees but is brought back down a couple of times now by straddling. And there's the buzzer for the end of the first period. So after one period of wrestling, Straddling up by two points over Drake. Still anyone's match. Drake is elected to start on the bottom for the second round. Hoping that he can get the escape and earn a point. Drake was unable to get the escape as he was hoping. Now straddling, going to work, trying to roll Drake over. Drake working up to his knees. Unable to get free of the hold. Now Drake back up to his knees. And Stradling will bring him back down. Points wise, this is still a very close match. Oh, you need your head up. Drake attempting to stand up and get out of that hold. Unable to stand up, but he's got a good grip on straddling. Now Drake once again looking to stand up. And Drake will get, well, he hasn't been awarded a reversal yet, but he's on top. Drake 
Both wrestlers still tied together. No points being awarded. And the clock will tick down to zero. Score still two to nothing with Stradling leading over Drake. Drake will be on top for the start of the third and final round. Stradling was, was unable to get free at the start of the round for his escape. So we remain at two to nothing. Drake, meanwhile, looking to find a way, somehow scoring some points. Straddling, trying to crawl free, and he manages. There's the escape for Straddling. Drake went in looking for a leg. Back out and try again. Once again, he tried for the leg, couldn't get it. Stradling returns a favor and gets another takedown. What are you doing with Smart here. Drake up to his knees, brought back down again by Stradling. Straddling has Drake tied up on the mat, but unable to do anything with him. Drake managing to stay face down on the mat, now working to his knees. Pulled back down by Straddling. Drake right back up to his knees. And there's the buzzer for the end of this match. And it will be Straddling winning by decision over Drake. Now the 182 pound weight class, wrestling for Lawrence will be Matthew Melquire, and wrestling for Robbinsville will be Nick Migliaccio. Here comes Melquire out onto the mat, followed closely by Migliaccio. One eighty two pound weight class. And Melquire goes in looking for a takedown, grabs the leg, and he'll force Migliaccio out of bounds, unable to get the takedown. They'll reset in the center of the mat and try it again. In goes Melquire and grabs the leg. Unable to achieve a takedown. They'll go to the edge of the mat and be brought back to center for another try. Wrestlers still on their feet. Melquire goes in for the leg. And Migliaccio will take him down and get the pin. So Nick Migliaccio wins by a pin over Matthew Melquire. Next up will be the 195 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence will be Antonio Perone, and he'll be going up against Thomas Jennings, who will be representing Robbinsville. There's Jennings on the mat already. 
Waiting for Perone. And here comes Perone. One ninety five pound weight class. Perone in gray. And they're resting. Perone goes in for a leg. And he'll get two points for the takedown. Now Jennings trying to get the escape. So far it hasn't happened, but the referee is not happy with how things are progressing. He'll award a point to Jennings. Perone trying to bring Jennings down. Jennings on his knees. Jennings struggling to his feet and brought back down again by Perone. Perone will release him, giving the point to Jennings so that Perone can go for another takedown, which he does. Now Perone rolls Jennings over looking for the pin. Jennings rolls the rest of the way over. Now Perone brings him back, and Perone looking for the pin. He's got it. So Antonio Perone will pin Thomas Jennings with a time of 30 seconds. That will bring us into the 220-pound weight class. Lawrence will be sending out Muhammad Abdullahi. Here's Abdullahi, and he'll be winning by forfeit. Next up in the 285 pound weight class, Pedro Maldonado, wrestling for Lawrence. Looks like he's going to be unchallenged as well, so he'll win by forfeit. And that will do it for the wrestling meet today here at the Cardinals Nest. Robbinsville Ravens will win 55 to 24 over the Lawrence Cardinals. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. That will do it for the varsity match. But prior to the start of the varsity match, there were a couple of JV wrestlers that had their turn on the mat. We're going to go back in time and let you see what they had to offer. Wrestling in the 106 pound weight class, for Lawrence, Ryan Edwards will take to the mat. He'll be going up against Blaze Grippa from Robbinsville. Once again, this does not count towards the varsity score. That meet is over. These wrestlers are just wrestling for experience. Now, right off the bat, Edwards comes out going after Grippa. Grippa putting up equal response. Two ref wrestlers swinging each other around. Now Grippa goes in, tries for the leg, can't, can't hang on to it. Both wrestlers back to their feet. Grippa goes in, this time he gets the leg. And he's got Edwards off balance, down he goes. So it'll be two points to take down by Grippa. Grippa's done more than that. He's got Edwards in a near pin right now. Referee watching to see if it becomes a pin. And there's the pin. So for the 106 pound weight class, Blaze Grippa will defeat Ryan Edwards by a pin. That will move us on to the 113 pound weight class where Lawrence will send Josh 
Marin Marindino out onto the mat. He'll be wrestling against Caleb Chung from Robbinsville. By the way, those little black mats that you see the wrestlers wiping their feet on are disinfectant mats to try and keep everyone safe. Marindino is on the mat right now, and now here comes Chong to join him. Once again, this is wrestling strictly for experience. Marindino gets the leg and the takedown, and he's going after Chung, looking for a pin himself. Marindino's got Chung down there looking for that pin. Chung doing his best to fight back. And Chong manages to roll over and get out of that. Three points awarded for a near pin by Marindino. Now Marindino looking to roll Chong over again. And it looks like he'll do so. Chong holding tough and he'll fight back, unable. Marindino's unable to roll Chong over that time. Three more points awarded. Chong trying to get up to his knees. Marindino brings him back down. Now Marindino has Chong on his back again. And he'll be saved by the buzzer on that one. But Marindino has really racked up some points in the first round as he leads 10 to nothing over Chong. Second round, the wrestlers will be starting upright. There goes Chong in for a leg. Marindino gets a hold of him. And it's going to be another takedown for Marindino. In fact, Marindino goes right back where he left off, trying to pin Chong. And he does so. So in the second round, Josh Marandino will win by a pin over Caleb Chung. That will move us on to the 138 pound weight class where Thomas Scaturro will be wrestling for Lawrence. He'll be going up against Hunter Lance from Robbinsville. Once again, for those of you tuning in, the varsity match is over. This is JV Wrestling for Experience. Scaturo in the gray. grappling, trying to gain control. So far, neither one gaining any control. They'll break free and try it again. And Scaturro's got some headgear issues there. We'll get that straightened out and go right back to wrestling. Lance 
backing away a little bit as Skataro trying to make his moves. Now Lance goes in and grabs a leg. Skatero doing his best to fight back and he breaks free and gets the takedown. So Skatero up by two over Lance. Skatero unable to get Lance down off his knees so far. Lance holding tough on the bottom. Skatero finally brings him down to the mat. Now he'll look for a way to try and roll Lance over. Time ticking away in this first period. And at the end of the first period, it's Skatero over Lance by two points. Skatero is elected to have both wrestlers start in the neutral position. Sets them in the center of the mat and they'll get right back to it. Now, the rest are grappling for control. Now, Lance goes in, grabs a leg. Scotoro is still on top, however. And Scotoro manages to stand up. He'll get on top of Lance. Lance still with that grip on the leg. Two points were awarded to Lance, so we're at tie score right now. At least we were, because two more points for Scaturo as he's now in control. Lance gets to his knees. And there's the buzzer. So after two periods of wrestling, score now four to two in favor of Scatero. Lance is electing to start on the bottom for this final round. Hoping to score some points by the escape. A point. unable to do so as Scotero picked him up and brought him back down to the mat. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. They'll res reset at the center of the mat and Lance will be on the bottom. Scotero on top. Referee providing some instruction on proper wrestling etiquette. Well, slight change of events here. We're all tied up now, and both wrestlers in neutral position. Let's 
Lance goes in for the leg. Scotero still on top. No points awarded at this point. Wrestlers at neutral and start it again. Less than a minute left, and we are still tied up. Lance goes in, grabs a leg. And once again, Scotaro is on top. separates them and we'll start neutral again. 35 seconds left on the clock. Lance goes in for the leg. He can't get the grip this time. Now he's got a lock there. Still no points awarded as there's the buzzer. So we're going to go into overtime now. Scuturo and Lance going at it here in the 138 pound weight class. Lance dives in once more going for that leg. And once more, unable to bring down Scutero. However, penalty point awarded. That will give Lance the lead and the win. So penalty points the deciding factor in that one. That'll move us on to the 145 pound weight class. This will be our last event of the day. Wrestling for Lawrence will be Emmett Berea and wrestling for Robbinsville, Nolan O'Grady. O'Grady tried to rush in for a leg, couldn't quite get there. Uh, he'll dive in. Gets the leg. No takedown at this point. Maria's got his ankle. And the referee moves him back to the center of the mat in the neutral positions. No points scored yet. Grady gets the leg, but Berea's got him by the upper body as he's rolling him over trying for a pin. The referee didn't like the looks of that hold. He'll stop things and move him back to center mat again. No points, both wrestlers in neutral position still. Now O'Grady goes in, grabs the leg, and he'll bring down Berea for two points. O'Grady attempting to roll over Berea. 
Maria works his way out of it. Uh, points awarded to O'Grady for the near pin. Now O'Grady has Berea rolled over and trying for the pin. Berea bridging, trying to get free, and the clock will tick down. Saved by the buzzer, three points for the near pin. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. So Berea and O'Grady will return to the center of the mat for the beginning of round two. O'Grady's up by seven points. So Berea's got some work to do. O'Grady goes in, gets the leg, and gets the takedown. Now Grady manages to roll Maria over. Maria breaks loose, spins back over. Two more points awarded for Grady. Grady once again has Maria in position to try for the pin. And there he gets it. So in the final event of the day, Nolan O'Grady will beat Emmett Berea by a pin. That will do it for wrestling here at the Cardinals Nest today. The Robbinsville Ravens take the meet. Be sure to tune in next time for more exciting action on the Cardinals Sports Network.